Grace be unto you in peace from God our Father and from the Lord Jesus Christ. I was glad when they said to me, let us go into the house of the Lord. And I'm Father Steve Sellers, and right here in front of me is Dot, a sweet little rescue puppy. She's already had her stick this morning, so she's settling in. She's been at the window in front barking at the, the uh, trash collection people, and she's off to the races today. And I'm getting ready to leave here also to say an early mass today. Uh, and I've just been thinking, I, I posted a comment on social media uh, a day or two ago about Dot uh, and how she's been clinging to me. Uh, and uh, I just made a comment that that's not unusual for her. She has uh, what we recognize as separation anxiety. Uh, Dot was a rescue puppy. Uh, I got her in May of uh, 20, whatever year it was, 2021. Uh, she's almost three years old, uh, and she was a couple of months old when I, I brought her home, and uh, she was the last of her litter. Uh, in this non-euthanasia uh, shelter where she was staying. And, uh, and she had issues, just like uh, all uh, animals do when they are mistreated early in their uh, lives. And like most of us adults do too, we all have issues. <laughs> and we, we tend to think that that's what defines us. And they're not. We're not defined by our issues we're defined by the love of God in Christ Jesus our Lord, that love that calls us into holiness. Now, we can't be holy on our own. It is the Lord who helps us become holy uh, by continuing to reach out to us, to speak to us, to nurture us, to guide us on his pathway. Uh, and separation anxiety, of course, is what we all have. Of course we do. Uh, it says right in the the beginning of the Bible, when God is creating everything, when he said, it is not right that man be alone. And indeed, most of our issues stem from fear of being alone or its companion word, abandoned. Uh, Jesus tells us, I will never leave you as orphans. No, he promises to be with us always. And so we are never alone. We are never abandoned. We never need have true separation anxiety because we are connected permanently to the Lord who loves us. And he's not going to let go of us. There are a lot of people who are afraid, are afraid that they've done such horrendous things that God, God's going to just loosen his grip on them or squeeze his grip, uh, and he's going to do neither. He loves you. He cares for you. And he's always there to offer you his mercy, his kindness, and his compassion. When we fail, we go to him and we confess our sins and we amend our lives. When we walk away from him and get in trouble, we turn around and walk toward him. Truth is, he's always there with us. And yes, Dot does have separation anxiety. Uh, she was right here in front of me just a minute ago. She knows that I'm getting ready to leave, but I always tell her I'm coming right back and I always give her something that she can chew on. Uh, some sort of a bone or rawhide stick. The veterinarian calls those house savers. Uh, when you have a big dog with big teeth and they like to chew, and Dot doesn't do that. She doesn't chew in the house or chew on anything. She's a very good girl, uh, but she's always ready and excited when I come home. I think the Lord is the same way with us when we turn to him. He's always excited to see us, and remember, he loves you. Have a blessed day today, and God willing, Dot and I will see you here again tomorrow.